Yes, uh, the last topic that we featured in our previous class was atomic structure. Class of it. We featured atomic structure, whereby we talked about the divisibility of atoms into proton, neutrons, and what? <coughs> proton is positively charged, electron is negatively charged, whereby the neutron is zero is neutral. It has no charge. It has no what? Charge. But before then, what is atom? Class, what is atom? And you know, English, what is atom? Atom is the smallest particle of an element which is taken in a chemical reaction. That is right, that is correct. Atom is the smallest particle of an element which can take part in a chemical reaction. In a chemical reaction. Today, we are considering a subtopic under atomic structure. Title as isotope. The subtopic we are considering this morning is isotope. Class, what is isotope? What is isotope? I'm in now, good luck. What is isotope? Isotope is a phenomenon whereby atoms of an element exhibit the same atomic number but different mass numbers. Isotope is a phenomenon, is right, whereby atoms of an element exhibit the same atomic number but different mass number. But different mass What's responsible for this is because of the difference in the number of neutrons. The difference in the number of neutrons created what we have as isotopes, isotopes of elements, because of differences in the neutral number. Let's write. The first person that contributed to the knowledge of isotopes. They are the scientists who have done one or two uh, 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 experiments to discover the photon number, the atomic number, the neutron number. We have many of them. We have JJ Thompson who discovered the photon and what and the electron. Also, we have Lord Rudolph. Whose model is the acceptable model among all the models stated by the scientists who contributed to the structure of atom? Because he was able to tell us that atom can be divisible into proton, neutron, and what? Electron. In which the atom is having center concentrated with the most mass of the elements, protons and neutrons. And the electrons are what? Are revolving around the nucleus. Have I answered your question well? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Now let's write.
This is Bacchus. This is because of the difference. This is because of the difference in the number of neutrons. In this in these atoms of elements. E.g., for example, oxygen, oxygen 16, oxygen 17, oxygen 18. Look up, everybody. We can see this one as an example. Oxygen Oxygen 16, Oxygen 17, and Oxygen 18. These ones are isotopes of oxygen. Having the same atomic number, but different mass number. This is because the neutral numbers are not the same. 16 minus 8, you get 8 here. 17 minus 8, you get 9 here. 8, 18 minus 8, you get what? 10. Third, differences in the work neutral number. Also, we have carbon. Carbon 12, carbon 13, and carbon 14. All these ones are isotopes of carbon. Is that on the switch? Yes. Do you have any question as regards the definition of isotopy? And examples. Class, any questions? Any question? Your question. I don't. Thank you. Clap for her. I like that question. Why is it that the relative atomic mass of elements are not whole numbers? They are in fraction or decimal. They are in decimal, not in what? Not as a whole number. The reason is because of the presence of two or more isotopes. The presence of two or more the presence of two or more isotopes responsible for the relative atomic mass of elements not to be whole number. We are going to that now. We are going to that. Here we have explained the neutral numbers responsible for differences in mass number. Now, let's go to an example. But before we go to calculation to really explain why the relative atomic mass of elements are not whole number. Class, what are the other isotopes you know? For example, what are the isotopes of hydrogen? Class. Adamida, who? Hydrogen 1, hydrogen 2, and hydrogen 3. You have a big round of applause. That is good. We have hydrogen 1, known as hydrogen. Hydrogen 2, known as deuterium. Hydrogen 3, known as tritium. These are the isotopes of hydrogen. Apart from that, what other element also can we mention that exhibited isotopy? Class? Isa to Suleiman. Give him a round of applause. Chlorine 37 and chlorine 35. These are the isotopes of chlorine. Isotopes of what? Chlorine. Now, let's go to examples. Examples of elements that have relative atomic mass not to be what? Whole number. Number one. An element, right. An element, an element as Two isotopes. Let's take for instance. 
seconds, the element has two isotopes. Isotope 12 and isotope 13. Are we clear? Isotope 12 and 13. Isotope 12 and 13. With abundance with abundance of 98.9% and 1.1% respectively. Respectively. That is one after the other. Calculate. Calculate the relative atomic mass. Atomic mass of the element. An element has two isotopes of F12, S12 and S13 with abundance of 98.9% and 1.9% respectively. Calculate the relative atomic mass of the element. How do we do this? 12 is having 98.9% plus 13 of 1.1%. Now, we take the 12, the mass number, 12 times 98.9 into percent, 1 plus 13 times 1.1 over 100. We convert this rate here, 0.9% into a fraction. And this one into a fraction. Is this time clear? Is it clear, students? Yes. Is it understood? Yes. 12 times 98.9. Punch your calculator. 1,186.8 over 100 plus 13 times 1.1 over 100. Is it clear? Yes, sir. From this level now, we can find the SCM. What is the SCM of both fractions? 100. So 1186.8 plus 14.3. What is the answer? What is the answer? 12.011. So this is the relative atomic mass of that element. The relative atomic mass is what? 12.00. This is the reason why the relative atomic mass of elements are not whole number. Because of the presence of two or more isotopes. The isotope of this element is 12 and 13. Who can suggest, class, who can suggest the name of this element? Who can suggest the name of this element? Look up here. Look up here. Who can suggest the name of this element? The relative atomic mass is 12.00. Who can suggest? Who can suggest? Alamin, Daoud. Carol. Carol, clap for him.